Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you in the month of December, since it is Christmas time and the holiday time, about community season one comparative religions. So this is the very first Christmas episode of Community. And Community was an extremely hilarious show. Well, for the first two seasons. Uh, season three was just okay. After that, I just didn't care for the show. And so, like, in this episode, we get the... It's, it mainly focuses on Jeff, which, of course, it always um, follows him. But also, Shirley. We get to see just how... Mm, I guess one could say prejudiced she is towards other people's religions. And just how grumpy she can be and how motherly she can be and selfish she can be. Because see, the character of Shirley, she is a divorcee. And she has kids. And because of her divorce, her family is just in a rocky position. And even members of her family she can't get along with right now because of the divorce. She's an extreme Christian woman who loves God, Jesus, and all that, like, um, church Bible stuff. And so, like, we get to see her opposing her religious beliefs um, on everybody and force it on everybody, no matter what their religions are and stuff. And when she hears the other religions, she gets very prejudiced and thinks they're all, like, sinners and stuff like that. And it's really messed up because that's how a lot of like religious people are because you know especially like in the deep south <laughs> it's like they're very pious to their own religions and when they hear somebody else's religion they like denounce it like soon as they can and it's kind of messed up it's just like respect other people's beliefs you know what i'm saying like and don't try to like impose yours on theirs just because for whatever reason it is. I mean, look how bad it was doing the, like the crusades and everything, you know. And like back in like the Salem days, you know, like when they thought people was witches and they would like kill those people and stuff. And it's just like, and then not to mention how Christianity like took over like the entire world, especially back like in the Greek and Roman days when they had their own religious beliefs. And, and if you didn't believe in theirs, they were like in prison or like kill you and stuff. It just like respect other people's beliefs, man. <laughs> and so like, I think it starts off with the Dean giving his morning announcements, which is kind of weird because this is a community college and not only do they have lockers, but they have morning announcements on the intercom system. So basically their community college is probably like an old school that got revamped and stuff. And so the Dean, he decides he's going to be generous to everybody's different like holiday beliefs and not saying Merry Christmas. This is around the time when people just stopped saying Merry Christmas because, um, Similar to the whole religion thing, people got tired on um, pushing their like religious beliefs on them and their holiday beliefs, and because a lot of people are like, um, they celebrate um Kwanzaa, they celebrate Hanukkah, and like other stuff, you know, other than just Christmas. And so, like, he decides he's gonna dress up in some like blue outfit, calling himself Mister Winter. Which is supposed to be like, I guess, like a non, like, holiday, Christmassy type thing for all, like, religions or something like that. And so, Shirley, she's singing, like, Christmas Jesus songs. And she sings a bunch of, like, Bible verses for Christmas time. Talking about how, like, Christmas is the Lord's Day. And, you know, and all this other stuff. And she's half throwing her party because she considers her, um... Spanish study group her new like you know family because her old family comes kind of, like just like is done with her because of the whole divorce thing and so like as she's like talking about like Christmas this and talking about what y'all's gonna bring and all this other stuff is like then they started letting her know that hey you know we're not Christian <laughs> and stuff and she's and she's taken the bat by that. She's like, uh, and she she she's not really sure how to like respond and everything, other than just like a hateful. Like she's hateful, but in a weird like nice 
like fake kind of way. <laughs> and so down the line, so of course, Shirley, she's Christian. Abed is Muslim. Troy is Jehovah Witness. Uh, Annie is Jewish. Britta is atheist and Jeff is agnostic. And so when it comes to Pierce, his religion is different. He thinks he's Buddhist, but Britta lets him know that the stuff that he's describing in his religion sounds more like a cult. <laughs> and it's a made up one for the show. <laughs> it's like a huge running gag for him until like the day he dies and stuff in the show. And so like, yeah, he, he dies because the actor Chevy Chase, he couldn't get along with the showrunner no more. He was having problems with the cast and it wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. There was supposedly he was being racist in real life other than just his character being racist. And he wouldn't do certain lies and hold people up. Like, um, Joe McHale, he went on that, uh, Michael Rosenbaum podcasting and he literally told Michael like he had to tell Chevy that um was it Chevy Chase or Chevy Chase or whatever and he literally had to tell him that hey man you're preventing me from seeing my kids and family <laughs> because the man just wouldn't do his lines and stuff and so after I think like after four seasons they had to like get rid of him and stuff it's quite a shame that he acted the way he did because the dude is actually funny in real life and the dude is funny on this show but rumor has it he has a major ego problem even back in the snl days he only lasted for like one season because of his ego and everything and just it, it, it's just so many people who work with him say they just can't get along with the man and so like yeah and so cause so like after learning all their religion like i said before shirley's being like rude and snobbish to them and stuff like that well in the cafeteria one day um they're all just hanging out eating cracking jokes at one another and stuff like that and um this is the first season when the first couple of episodes troy and what's his name pierce started like hanging out more and bonding more they tend to bond a slightly a bit more in the second season because I think he, Troy started living with him and stuff. But then as we all know, Troy later gravitates towards Abed and stuff. And so like Abed had just got the, like he just grabbed like a bunch of cookies, but a certain kind. And cause him and his friends like them. But then this bully comes in. I think the bully name is Mike. And so like, He's all like, hey man, you just took all like those certain type of cookies that I like. He's like, and Abed's like, oh, you know, it's for my friends and stuff like that. And, but there's plenty of other cookies around here. He's like, well, I don't like those other cookies. And I only like those kind of cookies. He shouts every time he talks. It's hilarious. Like the dude has like serious anger problems and stuff. So when Jeff sees this, he's gonna like intervene and get in, in between those two and be all like, look dude, calm down. And it's time to like move on and just eat another cookie or something like that. And then so the dudes are like, oh, who are you supposed to be? His bodyguard or something like that? And, and so next thing you know, the dude starts getting pissed at Jeff and literally wants to fight Jeff and stuff. So um, then the dean comes in and his little Mr. Winner thing. So Abed is now in the study room and he's explaining everything that just happened that they literally just saw. Because, you know, Abed is all like... This is back when Abed was like more zanier than what he was later on. He matured as seasons went on, but he was more zanier and stuff. And so like he's all like, he's happy, like just my bodyguard and stuff like that. It was just like the bodyguard and all this other crap. And so Britta, she keeps poking fun, talking about why the men fight. Like she's a feminist and everything. She's all like, why do people fight? Um, it's so stupid for men to fight. And she literally says that men only fight just so they can be like uh, sexually attracted to each other or something like that. <laughs> and she's all, and then, he's, and then so Pierce and all them all like, fighting is not gay. And then Abed's all like, hmm, let's see. And boxing, you uh, fight for a belt and you win a purse. <laughs> and so they're kind of like thinking about that and stuff. So Shirley, 
when she finds out Jeff is kind of like getting into that dude, like fighting wise, she does not like that whatsoever. She doesn't want no fighting of like any kind, right? So in a way, they're in Spanish class and I think they had like a test or something like that. And that's what the whole season was about. Them being in like Spanish, Spanish one and Spanish two and stuff like that. And Senior Chang, <laughs> I think his name is Ken Jeon. He's like the Spanish teacher and he's the only one there at the school, but he's like, I think he's like a Chinese man and stuff like that. And so, and when he's teaching his Spanish, you quickly learn the man doesn't know a lick of Spanish. <laughs> but somehow he got hired anyways. And so like, um, as Jeff is trying to do like his test and everything, in comes the bully and he sees him and he just starts like messing with Jeff and talking about, hey dude, even I know that answer and blah, 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 stuff like that. Then he takes Jeff's paper and I think he throws it or something like that. So Jeff gets up and gets in his face. He's like, oh, what you gonna do, man? And stuff like that. And then, so I think they agreed to fight by like outside somewhere, right? And um, at a certain time. Now, what's interesting is that one of Mike's friends is Dante Bosco, the dude who played Rufio in the Hook movie and played Zuko in the Avatar The Last Airbender movie. I had no idea because the dude like slimmed down, he shaved his head, he grew like some facial hair. I had no idea who he was until I looked it up to do this like episode, um, this video to um, put in the tags and stuff. I had no idea because I'll get to his character later. He only says one line in the entire thing. And I think to myself, they get famous people all the time for the show. Why give him the cameo and stuff like that? I don't get it. So. Um, Jeff's all like, yo, Senior Chang, you gonna allow this guy to bully me in class? And he's all like, I'll allow it. <laughs> Stuff. And so, like, when they get back there at the study room, they're talking about, like, the fight, and Jeff's all like, you know, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> and so Pierce and them start making fun of him. Pierce is all like, what? what you mean? You don't know how to fight. And it's all like, like, fighting is just what men do and everything. He's all like, men fight. So women can determine which one they want <laughs> and make children with. That's not how it works. That's how it works for wild animals and stuff. <clears throat> and so like, my bad to clear my throat. And so like, they're going to teach Jeff how to fight. But when Shirley hears this, like I said before, she doesn't want no part of it. So they have to sneak and go to a different room and learn how to um, teach Jeff how to fight. Um, so like, while they're like doing that, Annie is bringing in her, I think it's called a menorah. I'm not sure, I'm not Jewish. So like, yeah, I mean, I've heard this thing before, but I'm just having like a brain freeze right now. It's cold, <laughs> it's cold in this house. I got the heat on and it's still cold up in this house. Like, I don't understand it. I think I said like in one of my other videos that I'm uploading right now as I'm speaking, it's like almost 80 degrees and stuff outside. And then the next day, it's like freezing cold. I don't understand this weather. So like, she brings it in and Shirley is being her nasty prejudiced self and stuff. And instead of calling Annie Jewish, because she's all like, you know, I didn't know you. She didn't say the whole word. She only like cut it halfway off with something you're not supposed to do. And so Annie's all like, you can say the whole word next time. And so like, but Pierce is even ruder, nastier. He, not even, I'm not even going to repeat what his racist behind said. So anyway, um, so like, you know. And she's all like, where are the others? And she's all like, oh, they're getting ready for Jeff's fight and everything, teaching him how. And Shirley was pissed because, like she said, she had forbidden it and everything. And so, like, she leaves storming out. And then, so, Shirley gives her the baby Jesus. And Annie looks at baby Jesus, pokes him on the nose, all like, um, everybody needs to remember that you was ours first or something like that. Or you were one of ours or something like that. <laughs> And stuff, but she says it in such a cutesy kind of way because that's how Annie is. Um, God, she, yeah, I think she said something like that, like, Yeah, you were one of ours first because you know, 
Um, and so then, like, Pierce and them, they're teaching him how to fight. And Jeff is, like, throwing some punches, and it's kind of, like, weak punches. So Pierce is all like, get angry. Pretend like I'm somebody you don't like. And, of course, he doesn't like Pierce in real life, so he throws, like, a really hard punch. And then, so, Pierce is all like, oh, that woman's blouse just fell. Oh, British, br um, ah, I can't talk. It's cold. <laughs> British, like, blouse, like, fell off or something like that. So, Jeff, for some dumb reason, turns around and looks, thinking that her top fell off. And Pierce, like, kicks him in the ankle or something like that. And then, so, Troy's all like, man, you, why are you fighting dirty for? Teaching him how to fight dirty. And he's all like, oh, there's some kind of, like, black foxy mama or something like that and like an idiot troy turns around and he kicks troy and then jeff's all like why are you doing this and then troy's all like why she gotta be black because <laughs> troy of course is black <laughs> so then of course bird is still making fun of them talking about how like fighting is like she says fighting's gay and everything and they try trying to tell her that it's not, but then Shirley comes in, and then Troy lets it slip, so they're teaching him how to fight, and, but Troy does it in a funny way, he's all like, oh, we're teaching Jeff how to fight, he's all like, I couldn't think of another word, <laughs> so then Jeff tries to do it, but then he does the same thing, he's all like, it is hard, <laughs> so Shirley pretty much gives them a big moral speech about how her old family's torn apart with fighting and she doesn't want her new family torn apart by fighting and that if you fight jeff then you're not allowed to come to my party and stuff like that and he tells her pretty much straight up like you're not my mom you can't tell me what to do and stuff like that but then she tries to get him like a brownie at one point talking about when my kids act up and they learn their lesson i give them a brownie and i'm just like dude <laughs> she is throwing her like pious all around <laughs> and then so like jeff he actually goes to the fight and everything you know what i'm saying and so like he's there he has his expensive sunglasses on the dude mike before the fight starts he's all like if this guy don't show up we're going to applebee's i'm just looking for a fight <laughs> and everything is applebee's even still around the one in my town closed down so anyway they go down there and like, so jeff's ready to fight and so when troy was teaching him how to fight he's all like you gotta psych a person out you gotta be like um oh god what does troy say oh what's up so troy's like you gotta say what's up what's up what's up it's not a question it's rhetorical and everything but you have the answer and then you have to get in the force with the eye <laughs> and this weird kind of look so jeff is doing all that and mike is doing he's like what's up what but they doing it in the corniest way that what's up what's up <laughs> stuff like that it is her god i missed this show it was so good in the first season and so like Jeff takes off his sunglasses. He's like, these are expensive. And he starts taking off like his watch and his other stuff. And so like the gang, they're in the study room and they're bummed because, you know, Shirley's still opposing her will um, and they want to see the fight. And then Bird is all like, you know what? She gives this rousing speech about how she's going to go and support her friend in the fight, even though she doesn't believe in fighting and stuff. So then they all leave. And then so when they're there, Jeff and the other guy, they're just like standing around with their fists up in the air, getting ready like to fight. And then Shirley comes also. And then he makes fun of Jeff's like bracelet on his wrist. Now, Shirley, in early in the episode, she gave them all friend bracelets and everything, which they did not want to wear. And so Jeff, he's all like, you know what? This is dumb. Like, I got, like, a party to get to, and I just think about what Shirley would do. So then Mike sucker punches him in the gut, and Jeff goes down. And then, so Shirley's all, like, whoop his behind. So then the music starts playing, right? And everything goes in slow motion as everybody's jumping up and down, getting ready to fight. And then, so Mike instructs his friends to take off their shirts and, and start fighting. They rip off their shirt. All of his friends are like muscular fit. Then they start doing these cartwheel flips in the air. And then I'm just watching thinking, what the world I'm watching? This is awesome. <laughs> so then they all start like uh, fighting each other, punching each other, 
picking up Christmas displays and hitting each other with it. But then this is the thing, the fight choreography was weak. It was not planned out that well. I mean, I get it. Dan Hartman, he's not an action dude. He's a comedy dude. So I, I give I, I, I let it slide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so like, what's funny is, okay, this is when the, the, the Dante part comes in. So he's on the ground in the snow and he's like shivering. He's all like, please don't. It, it, it's Christmas and Shirley's all like it's December 10th and she hits him with a giant candy cane I could not believe that was him <laughs> so it, um, it so when the scene comes back they're all in like the study room Shirley is singing to them and you see they're all bruised and battered clothes are ripped Jeff has like um, toilet paper in his nose to stop the bleeding because Pierce like punched him hard in the nose <laughs> and then it ends in the weirdest end credit scenes ever. Now this is when Troy and Abed started to bond with each other because before it was just Pierce and Troy and before it was just Jeff and Abed and Abed is decorating Troy like a Christmas tree. And he's singing, oh, Christmas Troy, oh, Christmas Troy. Well, the song's supposed to be, oh, Christmas tree. And so like, Jeff comes in, he's all like, why do y'all do that? And Abba is all like, it's fun. So the next thing you know, you expect Jeff to make fun of them, but instead it cuts to Jeff decorating <laughs> Troy as well. And then Jeff is like singing, oh, Christmas Troy, oh, Christmas Troy. I'm just like, <laughs> it's just like one of the most hilarious end credit scenes ever. I love this show. I have no idea what streaming site it's on. I think it's on Hulu or something like that. Um, of course, it's on DVD. Um, but I don't know. I wouldn't recommend getting the complete box set. I would just get individual seasons because, trust me, when you get into season four, season four is kind of like what killed it. And then when it went to Yahoo, it killed it even more. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff. But season one and two are like hilarious. When you get to both seasons paintball episodes, oh that would change the whole playing field of the show. <laughs> bah humbug, that was a good episode. Alright everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye.